What's up guys, this is Mad Cow Gamer bringing you another gameplay commentary from Black Ops. In today's episode of Mad Cow's Road to Prestige, we'll be talking about how to properly use your pistols on the maps in Call of Duty, as well as what perks and strategies to use when encountering enemies with other weapons. Now, let's start off with something easy and something that everybody knows how to do. Let's start off with how to use uh, perks and which perks to use. In many of my gameplays, actually all of my gameplays in regards to pistol gameplay, I use three static perks. I use uh, either slide of hand or steady aim, hacker, and as well as scavenger. Let's start off with scavenger pro or scavenger, whichever one you have right now, it doesn't really matter. Um, when playing with pistols, you must understand that you are limited to how much ammunition you will have and how much ammunition you spend per kill. Uh, taking my revolvers that I use right now in this gameplay, for example, six uh, rounds per pistol, what is it? You have like two reloads for each pistol. Not a lot of ammunition when talking about in uh, contrast to how many people you have to kill with your weapons. Usually it takes a drum of each to kill an opponent, uh, assuming you're not going to miss a shot. So you're going to have pretty much two or three, most four kills in your uh, weapon before you have to replenish it once more. Yes, you sacrifice your ghost ability and sneaking ability when you're playing with dual pistols, especially revolvers. But you do gain something else. You, get a, you gain a static amount of ammunition, not static, fluid amount of ammunition that goes into you with every single kill. Now, uh, you as a as the gamer who uses pistols uh, at this current stage, you really want to be moving around the map. And that is something that I was thinking about whether to use Marathon or not. No, do not use Marathon. You much rather put a better perk instead of it, such as Hacker or whatever it is in, in the column it is. Um, the next thing that I wanted to bring up is obviously uh, Hacker Pro and Hacker. When playing with a class that moves a lot around the map, you really do not want to be surprised by uh, Claymores, C4s, and grenades, which are one. You really want to make sure that you're not going to be uh, all of a sudden killed by these weapons. So you really want to know where they are and just to get a general idea where people might be camping. And Hacker is really perfect for that. And obviously you're going to have uh, either Steady Aim or... Uh, uh, what you call it? Oh my god, I can't believe I'm forgetting it. I'm gonna have it either steady aim or slot of hand. Now, for dual pistols of any kind, I always suggest to use uh, steady aim because you wanna have proper shooting uh, when you aim at the opponent and not waste shots. But when we're talking about uh, pistols such as ASP or uh, Makarovs or M19s or even CZ17s or 19s, whatever it is, you really wanna use a uh, slot of hand instead because you wanna pump out as much ammunition to enemies as you can and just overload them with ammunition in their face but however when you use magnums uh, these pythons right here you really, you really really want to have a steady aim instead because one it's a powerful round it's a powerful pistol and two it has limited ammunition and you want to put it to the best use you can you've noticed i use a lot of knife in this game now knifing and pistols as i learned through my entire prestige almost entire prestige of playing with pistols go well and well well hand in hand together very well now you might be asking yourself why do you use pistols which are close range weapons and knife at the same time one knife is faster two it's a surprise attack for their opponent and two sometimes you have a twitch in this particular gameplay none of my knife kills are twitch they were uh, all planned out they were all made to be kills on purpose because you need to outweigh the risks and reward factors and i'm gonna see death i did not paste my shots as i wanted to and i died you really want to uh, compare risk and reward and uh, make sure that one outweighs the other when you use the pistols. Now, you notice my strategy is to fire both pistols at the same time and not spam them one by one. When you spam them one by one, your reticle gets bigger much faster and you miss shots and um, just a horrible way of uh, using the pistol in my honest opinion. Now, since we covered all the perks we need, uh, I think it's really time to get to what to expect when you play with pistols let's get something straight pistols are not primary weapons they're not designed to be a killing machines nor they're designed to be used constantly and over and over again you are outmatched outgunned and outskilled no matter what you do when you use pistols when you use these weapons you will die most of the time if you're not careful and not using proper strategy because some uh, weapons have much faster loading speed. The perks they use also affect the weapons. I mean, AK-74U is going to just dominate you in close range as well as other weapons. Um, so what you have to really do is to put them to the best use you can and always get a drop on the enemy at least. Uh, 
Another little useful tip when using pistols is never stand in one place. Pistols are not a camping tool, they are a moving tool. You have to strafe, you have to move, you cannot stand in one place if you want to be effective. You are running around, you're made to run around, you're lighter with pistols on, you have faster firing speed. Those are the advantages that you have in playing with pistols. You also really want to try and get headshots. However, getting headshots is definitely not your primary priority, it's just a nice thing to do. Always try to aim over the neck area or abdominal area never just aim for the head unless you know for a fact you're gonna get a shot and with pistols you never know uh, when playing games like this the maps are extremely important maps such as WMD uh, let's say array and uh, other big maps are extremely bad for you one is because they're extremely huge and you do not have as much as a ki of a killing capacity as you have in the smaller maps. For example, like this map, lots of corners, lots of tight turns, very easy to surprise your enemies, very easy to kill them. On maps like WMD and uh, Array, where it's open area with a lot of sniping positions, you are outmatched and outgunned as I stated before. But you can still do very well. Uh, I had some extremely nice games on those maps before, but it required a lot of work. And the last thing I would like to mention that I can think of right now is self-control. Do not get frustrated. Do not act out of uh, anger. Be tactical and think straight. And there you go. Nice kill. Make sure you're controlling yourself because once you go uh, out of your uh, controlling sphere, you're just going to lose. This was Mad Cow bringing you some tips and tricks on how to use pistols. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out. Make sure to comment. Later.